Bryce Young. What's up, man? Way to earn your first victory in the NFL. Congrats, Bryce Young. This is Sports Guy talking that you guys are watching and listening to. I am Dustin Tran, your host, as I am here today to talk about Bryce Young winning his first NFL game as a starter. Although CJ Stroud has been the better QB in this draft class, Bryce Young was able to lead the Panthers to victory over CJ Stroud in the Texans yesterday. Not only that, but Bryce Young led his team down the field on a game-winning drive to help the Panthers beat the Texans by the score of 15 to 13. Before I say anything else though, I want to present you guys with the topic question. So here it is. Will Bryce Young ever become a star quarterback for the Panthers? I'm going to say let's wait and see. Let's see what's going to happen with Bryce Young. I'm not saying that Bryce Young is going to be the best quarterback in this draft class. I'm not saying that Bryce Young is going to live up to his draft status and what we gave up to get him. But what I am saying is that Bryce Young is a quarterback that the Carolina Panthers can go ahead and build around with. I think Bryce Young is a quarterback that you can win with. I don't necessarily think that he's a quarterback that you can win because of Bryce Young, but I think he's a quarterback you can absolutely win with. Now, what's the difference between those two statements? Well, if you win with Bryce Young, that means that you built a really good team around Bryce Young and that he's doing what he's supposed to be doing within the team and within the system. But if you're winning games because of Bryce Young, that means that he is carrying your team week in and week out. I don't think Bryce Young is ever going to be a quarterback that can carry a franchise on his back. I'm not overreacting to the bad start that he had for the Panthers, but this is something that I said pre-draft. My player comparison for Bryce Young before the draft was basically a more talented version of Tua Tungalo Valoa. I still stand by that take. I still think that Bryce Young is good in his own way. I don't think he's better than CJ Stroud. I think CJ Stroud is a quarterback that can carry any franchise at any given time. Even though CJ Stroud played a pedestrian game against the Carolina Panthers yesterday, I think that was more because the Panthers defense was doing really good. And don't sleep on the Carolina Panthers right now. Even though I'm not necessarily a believer in Bryce Young, I am a believer in the Carolina Panthers roster. I know that their O line is horrible. I understand that their wide receivers outside of Adam Thielen, not really all that great. But what I do know is that the Carolina Panthers, their schedule isn't really that tough the rest of the way through. The Carolina Panthers only have two more tough opponents left on their schedule, which is the Cowboys and Jaguars. And then when you look at the rest of the schedule, you're thinking, man, we could win every single game left on the rest of the schedule. I think the Carolina Panthers, they got a chance to stack together some wins, okay? Because they get to play the Colts at home next week. Then they get the Bears on Thursday night football. That's going to be a good game. And then they get the Dallas Cowboys. And then they get the Titans and the Bucks and then the Saints. Those are some really good chances to stack together some wins. And if you can beat the Colts, which I think can happen, I absolutely think they can beat the Colts because the Colts, they don't have their starter Anthony Richardson anymore. And not only that, the Colts defense is just horrendous. Colts defense is horrible. I expect Bryce Young to lit it up against the Colts. I expect Bryce Young to ball out. And for the haters that wanted to trash Bryce Young, well, I have to say you're absolutely wrong. And I know some people have said that, oh, I've been a Bryce Young critic, but don't attack me. I'm not the one that's been trashing Bryce Young all the time. I'm not going to say I've been defending the guy, but I've been saying that, hey, this guy isn't as good as CJ Stroud. I still stand by that take. But there were people out there saying that Bryce Young was the biggest bust in NFL history and that he was the biggest scrub that was ever invented at the quarterback position. I never went ahead and said that. I never said that Bryce Young was going to be a draft bust. I never said that Bryce Young was going to be the worst quarterback in NFL history. I said that Bryce Young was a guy that you could win games with, but he's not necessarily ever going to be elite. I said that he would basically be a more athletic version of Tua Tungalo Valoa. You know what? I'm still going to stand by a take. If you want me to say that he'll be an undersized Alex Smith Chiefs version, sure, I'll go ahead and say that too. Still though, I don't think that he's a guy that you take number one overall with. But hey, today is not the day to blast Bryce Young. I want to be really impressed with Bryce Young for what he did today, leading on game winning drive the way that he did. He converted that fourth down to Adam Thielen. Fantastic throw. He did what he was supposed to do. He led his team down the field. He showed me moxie. He showed me poised. He showed me confidence. Yeah, Bryce Young isn't the loudest guy in the room, but he has that quiet confidence in him. And whenever you hear coaches talk about being the same guy, no matter what under pressure, it's all about being able to execute within the system whenever the pressure is on you to succeed. And when they need you in crunch time, you go ahead and perform. And that's exactly what Bryce Young did. I thought Bryce Young played fantastic against the Houston Texans. I know that the stat line does not say that he played fantastic, but I don't really care because Bryce Young, he was efficient. He was accurate. He moved his team up and down the field. Yeah, we might have only scored 15 points, but that wasn't because of Bryce Young. That was because we had red zone problems. I'll blame that on Thomas Brown, the offensive coordinator for the Panthers. I didn't think the play calling was great down there in the red zone. 
I mean, Bryce Young, he completed 71% of his passes. He throws a touchdown. He even ran for some yards as well. Now, I know that he was sacked six times. I think that the offensive line, they need to do a better job protecting Bryce Young. But hey, like all quarterback coaches would tell quarterbacks, all sacks on who? A quarterback. I didn't give Sam Howell a pass when he was taking all those sacks at the beginning of the year. Well, I can't do the same for Bryce Young, but hey, I thought he played efficient. I'm going to give him a B plus stat line. I'm not going to give him an A because he took six sacks and he didn't necessarily light up the world on fire, but he played in the efficient football game and he was clutch under pressure. I mean, I have to be really impressed with that. Good job to Bryce Young. I want to give you credit what credit has been due. I feel like I've been having to criticize Bryce Young way too much the first six weeks of the season. So now that you finally had a good game, now you finally ended up on the win column. Now I can go ahead, smile, and say that Bryce Young played a great game and let's freaking go, Bryce Young. I'm happy for the guy. I'm happy that he silenced his haters. I mean, look, there were people that were saying that Bryce Young was the worst quarterback in NFL history. And I'm like, are you guys kidding me? Can you give the guy some time, please? How many interceptions did Peyton Manning throw as a rookie? How many games did Trevor Lawrence win as a rookie? How many games did it take for Tua Tungo Valoa to eventually turn it around for the Miami Dolphins? I mean, it's not like Josh Allen was exactly lighting the world on fire his first two years either. I mean, the way that social media is talking about some of these quarterbacks, particularly the young quarterbacks, he's like, can you please give some guys time? And I'm not saying that as an excuse because if you're bad, you're bad. Look at Josh Rosen, for an example, in the Arizona Cardinals. He only had a year as a starter, but you could already tell that he was going to be a bad quarterback. So therefore, the Cardinals went ahead and ditched him. But what I am saying is that people need to be more patient on Bryce Young and they need to be saying that, hey, he went number one for a reason. There's a reason why a lot of people thought that he had a lot of talent in him. That's because people think he's a really good quarterback. And I think he's a good quarterback as well. I don't think he's a great quarterback, but I think he's going to be a good quarterback in the National Football League. But who knows? Maybe Bryce Young proves me wrong. Maybe we get a Tyreek Hill in the draft next year or something like that. Maybe we get some superstar wide receiver that Bryce Young can throw the ball to and then let that wide receiver make plays in space. Maybe we get a new coaching staff that actually believes in Bryce Young. I still don't think that Frank Wright really believes in Bryce Young, but he's saying, hey, there's no good to complain about that. Let's work with what we have and let's adjust to what Bryce Young can do really well. And credit to Frank Reich for giving up his play calling duty. I want to give him tremendous credit for that. That's not an easy thing to do, giving up play calling, particularly when you've been so good at it for so long. But he realized that he was not doing good at it for the Carolina Panthers. He wasn't helping out Bryce Young. And he realized that, hey, let's give the play calling duties to Thomas Brown and let me go ahead and focus on the rest of the team. I mean, have you noticed how the Panthers didn't really have any troubles with the snap? They didn't really have any troubles getting to the line of scrimmage. I think that helped because Frank Reich was actually able to watch the game instead of looking at his play sheet. And look, I don't have a problem with guys calling their own plays if they're a head coach because guys like Kyle Shanahan and Mike McDaniel, they do it and they're really good. But Frank Reich is not that good of a play caller compared to those guys. I do think he is a good coach, but I don't necessarily think that he's the right coach for Bryce Young. I don't know though. The situation is going to be interesting. What I'm telling the Panthers right now is just go ahead and control what you can control. Go 1 0 each and every week because you look at that schedule right now, they can go ahead and stack some wins together. If they can get to 5 and 7 after week 13, because they can beat the Colts, they can beat the Bears, they can beat the Titans, they can beat the Bucks. If they can get to 5 and 7 with 5 games left to go, they could certainly make some things interesting. I could see the Carolina Panthers going on a run. I mean, I never said that Bryce Young was a scrub. I said that Bryce Young was a guy that you can't win games because of him and that he wasn't the right selection on pick one. But hey, maybe there's more than one right answer in this draft class. Maybe both guys are great. Maybe CJ Stroud and Bryce Young are both superstars at the quarterback position. I mean, I still don't believe that Bryce Young is going to be a star player at the quarterback position, but hey, I can be proven wrong. Just because I said that he isn't a star quarterback doesn't mean that he'll never not be, okay? Because a lot of things can still happen. This is still Bryce Young's first year in the NFL. He's just got to go out there, execute the game plan, and get 1% better each and every day. He's just got to go out there and continue the battle out there. I want to give Bryce Young tremendous props. Winning an NFL game is not easy, and he managed to do that. So, Bryce Young, you need to enjoy this win. You need to soak it all in and then focus on winning next week, which I fully believe you can do. I believe that you'll end up beating the Colts. So, that's why Bryce Young will not end up becoming a star quarterback for the Panthers, even though I do see him becoming a quarterback that you can end up winning games with at the quarterback position. Remember, go ahead and subscribe to Sports Guy Talking. Like the video and please comment down below. If you guys do that, I may shout you guys out in my Instagram story every Monday. That will be for the at Dustin Ness Tran Instagram account. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at Dustin Ness Tran and at Sports Guy Talking. Also, go follow me on Twitter at Dustin Ness Tran. Again, go ahead and do those things that I just told you guys to go do. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the content that was just produced. Peace out. I hope you enjoyed that video. Want more Sports Guy Talking, the home of great sports content? 
make sure you click that subscribe button to get the latest from Sports Guy Talking. Go ahead and like the video. Comment down below. Check the description box on the video in order to follow my Instagram and Twitter. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from the YouTube channel, Sports Guy Talking.